Horse friends, get me here. Do you want to learn how to ride the Sydney Trot bareback? Then you click on the right video, because today I'm going to show and explain to you how to ride the Sydney Trot bareback. And hopefully I can explain it so good that you won't have to watch another how to ride the Sydney Trot bareback video ever again. Also, make sure that you watch this in this video. I'm going to give you three more tips to help you improve that Sydney Trot even more. So, that's so, with all that done, let's get started. I know, I'm on the ground. Hold on a second. I just want you to imagine for a minute that I'm on a horse. I'm going to ask the horse to trot. What's going to happen is, is I'm not going to ride on my butt. I'm going to ride on my inner thighs. And the reason for that is you're riding bareback. There's no saddle. There's no padding. So, we can't be bouncing on a horse's spine. So, what's going to happen is I'm trotting. And when that right hind leg pushes up the ground, it's going to bounce you up, let it bounce you up, and come over and land on your left inner thigh. And then when that left hind foot pushes up the ground, it's going to bounce you up, let it, and come land on your right inner thigh. So, movement, it's going to be like that. So, hope you imagine that. Now, I'm going to go jump on my horse, and I'm going to demonstrate for you. I'm actually going to try to exaggerate as much as I can without falling off. So. Give me a second, I'm going to go jump on my horse. So the plan is, I'm going to go trot away. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to do a circle of two. And what I want you to do is pay close, close attention to my hips and my butt and how they're moving. I know, sorry, you have to watch my butt. But I'm not going to talk, I just want you to watch. Watch right here. Here we go. Come on. you ride the Sydney Trot bareback. So, my three tips to help you improve that Sydney Trot even more is, tip number one, practice on a horse that has a nice new trot. You have to go find one. It'll, uh, it'll help tremendously. Tip number two is, don't be tense up here. I know that's easier said than done, but if you're tense up here, you're going to bounce, and we don't want that. So, what I recommend is, every few seconds, remind yourself to take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out. That'll help you relax. So, tip number three. Some people might argue with it, but I've been riding bareback for years, and this is how I do it. And what I'm talking about is, is I'm going to lightly hug, hug my horse with my legs while I'm trotting. And what that's going to do is help me stay on. And, you know, you hear people say, stop gripping with your legs. Well, I'm not gripping. I'm just lightly hugging. And if your horse, you know, if you're saying, well, my horse ain't going to like that with his leg on when I'm trotting, well, you stop, go back and desensitize. Look at that. My legs are lightly hugging. Is she moving? Is she bothered? No. So those are my three tips to help you improve that sitting trot even more. And for the love of horses, if you haven't subscribed yet, go down there and click on that subscribe button right now. And if you like this video or found it helpful, well, then go click on that like button too while you're down there. You know what? Click on all the buttons. All right. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.